All right, this past February, we had a freak snowstorm come through uh, Middle Tennessee, dumping about six inches of very wet, heavy snow on, um, on us within a very short period of time. The issue is we have a, or had a grove of cedar trees, of four trees that were sitting between the pool house and our neighbor's property that provided uh, privacy between the two properties, you know, when we're at the swimming pool. Well, because the, the, the cedar trees were all planted too close together, the insides were dead. And so, but on the outside were all the healthy branches, the greenery. And so when the snow fell, it weighed the branches down and toppled all the trees. It just lifted the root balls up. And so I've posted a video of bucking those trees um, and I've made some reference to some prior videos, but this video is about removing the stumps. So let's get to it. All right, so the stump has won round one, but as you saw, I was able to move it a little bit. <laughs> so I have to get out some big guns here and uh, try cutting up some roots to see if I can help this. Also, went and got some snatch blocks. I'm gonna try to work smarter, not harder here, moving forward with the winch and some pulleys. Try to get some more leverage on it. So let's see what we can get done. So we're gonna try some snatch blocks and use some pulleys here to get some better leverage to try to get this thing loose. So I'm going with the uh, triple line offset anchor configuration. <laughs> so it goes for my winch, around the snatch block, up to another snatch block around my anchor, and back down here anchored against the stump I'm trying to pull out. All right, so I got an idea. I think part of the problem is this thing's in such a deep hole and as I'm trying to pull it out, it's just rubbing up against the hole. So, I mean, I could get the bucket out and maybe try to dig like a ramp to pull it out. But the way this is positioned right now after that last pull, I think I might try to like, uh, I got the chain wrapped around it still, but I've set it up where as I pull it, it's going to, roll it out like uh like a you know like when you have a bar you know a spool of thread and you take the thread and you hold on to it and you throw the spool and it just comes unwinding as you throw it i think i'm going to give that a try and see if this will take care of it <laughs> why the hell not
Yeah, one down, three to go. And there's the crater that's left over. You can see, nice little trail here where I dragged it out to our brush pile way over there. <laughs> but one down, then one, two, three to go. All right, here's the one stump I'm currently working on. I got it partially pulled up yesterday. I was not able to pull it completely out. Still got a little bit more effort to do. Gonna need to get a couple notches on this to get a better grip on it. Um, and then probably use the pulleys and try to take it out sideways this way to kind of, you know, kind of like, you know, tooth, going back and forth with the tooth and maybe eventually pop out. <laughs> so let's get going. And that's how we do it at the perch with big trucks and lots of horsepower. We just rip the shit out. Another stump bites the dust. Dun, dun, dun. Another stump bites the dust. Dun, dun, dun. So we got one, two, three stumps. We got one to go. And then there's the big one. This one scares me. This is the biggest root ball, the biggest trunk. Everything about it is amplified. That's tomorrow's gig, <laughs> bright and early. This is the stump that's been worrying me, um, namely because of its size. You can see it's considerably bigger than all the other stumps we've been looking at so far. Um, I mean, it's essentially one, two, three, four, five stumps in one, all one tree. The root ball is much bigger. So I think what my plan is gonna be is I'm gonna set up the pulleys this direction and I'm gonna pull it this way first. And then I'm gonna bring stuff around and I'm gonna pull it that way next. And then I'm gonna pull it back this way again, pull it back this way and do that three or four times and hopefully I've been seeing that when I do that, that tends to take care of the, uh, you know, loosens up the root ball enough then where I can get the truck in and uh, move this sucker. So let's get at it. We are in business. All right, just to review. So I go from the Polaris, which has the winch, to a snatch block, to another snatch block, that's my anchor point, back to the tree. So that's creating the lever. 
So like I said, I got a three, two, one, three to one mechanical advantage. Let's do this. Have you seen the eyes? I tried to do this pull originally. This is too much weight for the players and it just started to pull. So I backed it into position and I've got it attached to this tree. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Time to do some sketchy shit. Do da, do da. I hope I get away with it. Oh, do da day. Let's just pull them way harder than I have with the other ones. And while this has a 3,500 pound brake strength, uh, all right, I gotta rethink this here. I'm not comfortable with that. It's pulling too hard. So I'm wondering if I, instead of trying to pull it this way, maybe instead I pull it that way. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Now I don't feel comfortable with the way this thing was going. All right, let's undo this. So, I repositioned because I was trying to go like that with it and it was too much because I, I mean I have this whole side I have to loosen up so I'm going to do it kind of in quarters so instead I'm going to come here and try pulling it this way first let's see if this works a little bit better for us still got the three to one mechanical advantage I just, it's too much for my Polaris. Uh, oh shit, what can I do? This one has been a lot more tough. <laughs> um, you can see, I finally got this upright. Um, that's all I've been able to do though. It feels like there's like one or two big roots underneath this thing kind of holding it together and I can't pull it out far enough to expose the roots so I can chop them up if indeed that's the case but I think now that I got it upright I'm just gonna have to sit here and just go back and forth I mean I don't know what else to do until eventually hopefully this thing breaks free um, this is be as I suspected this is the biggest one yet and the most difficult um, and it's proving it so I didn't expect to get the root ball this far <laughs> so I didn't film it I mean I was doing a time lapse with my GoPro but I didn't place this camera because I really didn't think I would get it this far up I think the good news is this will take care of it um, I will be able to set it down and then bring the truck and players back this way kind of pull it up that way because that's the way I'm gonna pull it out and drag it over to the brush pile I just didn't think I would get this one but I think I'm in the home stretch god you gotta love the tools between the winch on the Polaris so that's a 3,500 pound winch sitting on I don't know what a Polaris weighs I'm gonna say six seven eight hundred pounds maybe pulling on this with the mechanical advantage with the truck acting as the anchor 
So I've got a one, two, three. So I got a three to one mechanical advantage. And I got this thing out. All right, let's get this thing finished off. This one might do it. I'm holding my breath. Tell me it's a dream. Dream. Worst kind you've ever dreamed. All right, finally got the stump out. Now it's time for the big pull. Got the truck hooked up. This is gonna be interesting. See if this thing will fall over and hopefully it won't, or it won't dig in too much. Otherwise this will be uh, very short lived. Likely the light of mine will burn out. The mountains where I spend my rambling years. I paid my sins from the poor traveling days Oh Lord, please, can't you hear my prayers? So I rode my body up the mountain, up the mountain To a place where I can sit my rocking chair I rode my body up the mountain, up the mountain And I'm never going back again, I swear Most likely the son of mine will be found Mountains where I'm born and raised. I paid my duty, it's a sunny side cutie. Oh Lord, hear the sorrow in my heart. So I rode my body up the mountain. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Did I say yes? So this is what I got left. You can see all four stumps are cleared out. Got my wood pile that I'm gonna have to get a log splitter to deal with. Got a little bit of uh, branches here to clean up. I was talking to Charlotte. I think what we're gonna do is because we, I mean, it would be great if we had trees here to create that privacy and that buffer um, for the swimming pool area. Um, but I think what we're gonna do is probably just put a privacy fence right up there that'll give us some immediate relief um, because this is the closest we are to our neighbors and not that I'm really necessarily worried about anything but it's just you know out on the pool you get it it'll be a good that'll be my first fence building experiment I've never done that before but we'll take care of it but otherwise got these big piles here ready to burn let them dry out a little bit more and then probably in the early summer after a good heavy rain plan on coming out and dealing with these got it all done just look at that wow what a mess but it's over oh and the great thing is i'm not gonna have to worry about any poison ivy this is where i kept getting the poison ivy all the time <laughs> wow i did it I did it. I did it. Using a John Deere 3038E tractor, a Polaris uh, 570 Ranger with a 3,500 pound winch, and an F-250 uh, pickup truck, I was able to get all of these uh, stumps out. Yeah, 
probably would have been a lot faster to just hire someone. They could have had it done in a day. It's taken me three weekends. And today's stump took me, uh, you know, nine plus hours. But I had fun and I learned a lot about pulleys, about leverage, about what my tractor can and can't do, and then also what my truck can and can't do. Oh, and what the players can and can't do. I learned a hell of a lot. Till next time. Later.